<sighs> when it comes to gun dog training, um, one of the more common problems you'll encounter are issues around retrieving. And today I want to talk about retrieving issues. I'm going to demonstrate with a young dog he has an issue in terms of retrieving. He's very strong in terms of his hunting drive etc. But he has um, a retrieving issue and I'm going to attempt to resolve it starting today. Basically what happens is when I throw a dummy for him, he's very keen to go and collect it. But when he picks it up, he tends to run around me in a circle with it and doesn't come directly to me with it. To resolve this problem, I'm going to restrict his movements. In other words, restrict the amount of space he has and try to um, contrive it so that he has no option but to come straight towards me. And I'll get to that in a minute. Another important thing when you're training a young dog to retrieve is that you find something that they like to retrieve. Some dogs will like particular types of dummies or balls for instance and they may not, not like others. I have a, a range of them here for instance, here's a dummy to which I've tied pheasant's wings. Um, I have just dropped it. Most dogs would pick up a tennis ball, some of them don't like them. I start most young dogs off with a rolled up sock and it's nice and light and they have no trouble carrying it and um, they like it particularly if you've worn it for a few days and haven't washed it. They've, it's easier for them to find obviously and they like it. In the case of Reggie, the young dog I'm dealing with today, he likes this dummy. He's not so keen on the others but he likes this one. So this is the one I'm going to use. He's very keen to pick it up but like I said he's inclined to run away with it and do his own thing. And I am now going to go to the field of Reggie and I will first of all demonstrate um, the issue and then how I intend to actually come to grips with it. Now what you'll notice with Reggie and the retrieving is when I throw the retrieve for him he'll go out and he'll collect it. But on his way back he tends to run around me in a circle or he just wanders off into various areas and doesn't come directly into me with the retrieve. And that's the issue that I'm going to deal with. Reggie, sit. Reggie, sit. 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 Now I'd much prefer that he ran straight into me and that's what I'm going to work on now. Now I brought him here to this area where it's walled on both sides so his range of movement is limited. Now he could of course left, jump out over the wall or jump out over the fence but um, this area is maybe not ideal but as near ideal as I can get at the moment to demonstrate um, trying to get Reggie to come straight back into me with the retrieve as opposed to running around me in circles. So we're going to try that now. Reggie, sit. Hey, sit. Sit. Now, sit. Reggie is very keen to go and collect the dummy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go and collect the dummy myself and that will eventually stop the anticipation. He's anticipating me sending him for it. And I want him to sit until he's told to go. So, Reggie, sit. Right, sit. 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 
Now I've thrown the dummy three times and collected it myself. Eventually, over time, he will begin to understand that he's not to go and collect the dummy until I... Now I'm going to send him for the dummy. And I'm hoping that he's going to come directly back to me as opposed to running around me in circles. Time will tell. Sit. Sit. Yep. Ready? Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Sit, sit. Ready, sit. Ready, sit. Now, as you can see, he came straight back to me. He had no choice, really. The space in which he could run around in is limited. So he had to come back to me. Now, he could have gone that direction, obviously, but he didn't, which is a good thing. So I'm going to do it once more, and hopefully he'll come into me. This training then will be carried on over time until he gets the idea that the dummy is to be carried straight to me and not to be played around with. Reggie? Reggie, hey, sit. Hey, sit. 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 Get up. Reggie? Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Come on, hey, Reggie, Reggie, sit. Reggie, sit. Reggie. Good boy, good boy, good boy. He's a good boy, good boy. Good lad. Plenty of praise when they do the right thing. Now, after watching that video, you can see how I intend to resolve the issue. It may not be resolved in five or six sessions, possibly not even in ten sessions, but it's an ongoing process. And the process of training a dog it requires patience and persistence and repetition. That's basically it.